Next speaker is A.K. Selvaraj. Respected Deputy Chairman, sir. I thank you very much for allowing me to participate in an important bill concerning the future of the millions of students of our country. I am also happy that I am allowed to speak on a subject which is very close to the heart of our beloved leader, Dr. Prochitali Vyamma, and I delegate this to my beloved leader, Dr. Vyamma. The objectives of the bills, bill are to provide opportunity to untrained and unqualified teachers, appointed, acquire such minimum qualification. It is a very pity to note that out of the total number of 66.41 lakhs, teachers at the elementary level, 11 lakhs are still untrained. Better trained teacher would mean an improvement in the Lear learning outcomes of children. Quality improvement will not happen unless the foundation, principle, content, and pattern of free and in-service training of teachers are re-looked at and changed. It is said that just knowing a subject or being a gradu graduate, is, gra graduate is not sufficient qualification to become an elementary school teacher. One has to be trained in the understanding, the learning process of children, their diversity, and one has to develop necessary teaching skill under trained supervision. The government's budget for the Sarvasiksa Abhiyan has increased from uh, rupees uh, 12,825 crore in 2009 uh, to 2010 to uh, rupees 22,500 crore in 2016 and 17. Around 3.5 lakhs uh, schools have been opened in the last one decade, and 99% per of the Indian rural population now has a primary school within the one kilometer radius. India has the largest number of out of school children in the world. Sir, school education for ch children aged between 6 and 14 years in the fundamental rights of India. However, from 2010, after the act was passed, it has faced uh, severe challenges in the proper implementation. Even the budget allocation for the year 2017 and 18 has been very disappointing for the education sector. The low increase in the service sector beyond by 1,000 crore is not going to help in any way to implement the, the RTE Act meaningfully. Even after six years, the implementation of RTE Act, only 9.5 percent schools have been made RTE compliance across the country. It has been established that millions of children are still out of school, and the thousands of additional schools are yet to be built, while lakhs of teachers are yet to be recruited and trained. Low allocation is hampering the quality of education in government school which have teachers' vacancy of more than 5 lakhs. 10% of the schools are single teacher, 30% of the schools are without functioning toilet for girls, and 20% of it uh, still lack safe drinking water. Now, I come to some issue faced by the people in rural area where schools are not there within a kilometer radius as per the RT Act. The schools in private sector were not willing to accommodate the students from below poverty line, and even if they provide admission, they insist the students to pay the entire amount of fee at one time, alleging that there is a long delay in releasing fund under RT Act uh, to these schools. The, our state government has been implementing the Section 121C of the Act is true letter and spirit for the admissions made in private schools in 2013 and 14 and 2014 and 15. A reimbursement of 97.05 crores has already been made to private schools by the state government, and this amount was claimed in the year in the 2006 and 2007 under the Service Abhiyan Plan. An amount of Whereas 18 lakhs has been approved by the government for, uh, uh, government for reimbursement. 
despite non release of fund by the government of india the state government continued implementation of act in the year 2015 and 16 and 2016 and 17 and additionally 192370 number of children has been admitted in private schools under the 25% reservation the private schools would have to be a reimbursed an amount of uh, uh, rest uh, 310.70 crores for the children admitted for the year 2015 and 16 and 2016 and 17 and the state government would have to be reimbursed a total amount of 407.75 crore for 328910 children under ssa the government under the dynamic leadership power honorable amma was the forefront in the education segment too and our beloved amma had ensured the growth of education in the state by providing the all grants and tools for the students uh, uh, from books to laptop and free uh, 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 free school bus passes to bicycle and these initiatives were led to a drastic redu reductions in the dropout of school children many states were inspired in of it the implementation in their respective states at the end of my speech i would like to urge the government to release the total grant under ssa of 1340.89 crore and some of rupees 545.05 crore under rmsa for the year 2015 and 16 and uh, 2016 and 17 and to link again the model school program with rmsa to deal linking with affect the children who are already enrolled in the model schools and also release the fund claimed by the state government of tamil nadu for the free and post metric scholarships so as to motivate the pe people belongs to the downtrodden communities as demanded by our honorable chief minister uh, uh, thiru edapadi palanchami with this i conclude uh, and support the bill thank you sir thank you thank you uh